The dark frog experiment was really, it was really interesting. Um, I think it was really fun. Uh, it, you know, with this festival, it's very rare that we see um, outside of like an animation category, like an animation. And I think stylistically this fit the story really well. I think you did a lot of uh, creative things with the the lighting of these scenes and, and choosing, um, you know, majority black and white um and using color to signify uh different things throughout the piece i think that was really smart i think it was really um creative and i think it was really poignant um i think the character design was done really well i think um it meshed really well with the story with what was going on i think it um went along with the tone as well i think the characters matched um you know, the vibe you were going for over, I think it was an incredibly cohesive piece. It was really, really interesting to watch, really fun to watch and overall really, really well done. The dark frog experiment. Wow. <laughs> um, aesthetically, it reminds me a lot of, it kind of feels like an adult version of Invader Zim, even though Invader Zim was already kind of graphic, but, <laughs> uh, it had that kind of gothic aesthetic to it uh, while also delving into a lot of body horror, which thoroughly enjoyed, but you know, it's, it's, a, it's a very brutal sh uh, short animation. Uh, but all in all, yeah, I, I definitely enjoyed this one. The Dark Frog Experiment, um, <laughs> that's a really gorgeous animation. Um, I really loved the stylization, I loved the expressivity of it, and I loved um, how it rendered the gorgeous gore. Uh, it looks really, really fun, really cool. Um, you know, the whole thing like sang with expressivity, you know, even though not a single word is spoken, which again is really cool and attests to the strength of the visual storytelling, um, which was really cool. Again, um, I mean, the way that it deals with the kind of traditional story, you know, the scientist whose experimentations end up turning on him, you know, harkens back to Frankenstein, and it's like one of the kind of tr classic horror stories. Um, it's done well, but also rendered with this really kind of crazy, eccentric um, sense of imagination um, and visual creativity that was really fantastic and really, really cool to watch. Um, and I'd love to see more in that vein. Dark Frog Experiment. I thought this was really, really fun. Um, I loved the animation. I also love the storyline that this woman is, you know, obviously gets kidnapped and taken to like a mad scientist laboratory slash prison. And, you know, she tries and fights like tooth and nail to get out of her restraint, she, you know, that's the, like the survival instinct really shining through. And I love that even after she's been changed, even after the transformation has been completed, that kind of idea of like survivor's instinct, even though part of what she was fighting for wasn't just her freedom, it was her herself, her own body. And the fact that like she was already transformed and still didn't give up fighting, I thought was really great because I think a lot of the times the instinct is to be defeated once, you know, part of your, like, part of your idea, dream, whatever you're fighting for has been crushed or, you know, is no longer valid. And that's 100% what happened because she was now a human frog um, or like a, like a, 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 a adult size frog um and that didn't deter her and i really loved that and then you know the just the great scenes of all of the the prisoners kind of just taking their revenge was you know who doesn't love that this is for the dark frog experiment and uh, they have amazing animation technique this really gets to prove that karma is real and 
this is the best example of how it can play out against you. Uh, I like the sound effects with the transitions into monstrous creatures and how they deeply dive into what is being done to the people and what it what they are turning into this big lab and this uh, I don't know the purpose of these experiments but then we have this good ending where everyone gets their revenge and uh, it's gory and it's very very visual but sorry graphic and, and I just had this ew <laughs> it's just a lot of blood but I think it's it's very well done I enjoyed it well, it's a really interesting piece first of all I just I really like seeing independent animation you know produced like this um, you know just I can't imagine the amount of work so you know great job on that um, you know it's it's an interesting idea for for a horror film and uh, you know we got the mad scientist there and, and everything but uh, the, the tables get turned I'm, I'm generally not a fan of torture scenarios but um, at least the, um, the the victims get up and, and kill the guy so that made me feel kind of okay about it but um Anyway, yeah, so it was interesting, you know, to uh, to see uh, he's creating things. He's this mad scientist, but instead of just getting away with it, as they often do in horror films, see the, the creations turn on him. And so that was that was good. So um, the character designs are great. The protagonist looked great. The, you know, the, um, uh, the, the, the villain character, a really good design for him. Um, I also like that there was no, you know, dialogue. It was just incidental, um, you know, laughing and things like that. Um, and uh, the score was really good. So, you know, excellent work on this and hope it does well for you. That was dark. I do enjoy that the filmmakers or the animators chose to use 2D animation. That's something that a lot of people aren't using anymore. They're using 3D animation and computer generated, which this probably was drawn on a computer, but it's clear it's 2D. I love the play in colors too, where it's all in black and white, except for the blood or the green or whatever else they're using. It's until the end where the animals are released. I love that splash of color just coming in. It made the film a lot more artistic and intriguing to watch.